Hello everyone, this is Boricua Binks and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Justice for All. In the last episode, we are racing towards the finish of this game and we were investigating some more and questioning Adrian Andrews and finding out even more stuff. Wait, were we? Actually, you know what? I don't remember. <laughs> Uh, so don't take my word for it, because I feel like I just gave you guys the completely wrong synopsis. I, I don't know. Yeah, maybe we... Actually, no, we were in the trial. Yeah, we had started the trial. I'm thinking of the last episode before this. Stupid. We were in the trial, and we were questioning Will. Will Powers, that's right. Okay. About, uh, the bellboy. Yeah, okay, I'm remembering. <laughs> my my uh, dementia's gone, I promise. <laughs> oh, that was awful. Alright, let's continue on. That's embarrassing. Jeez, Binks. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Court will now reconvene. De Killer, the man who murdered the victim, handed this to his client. From this... One obvious question arises. Why this particular item? I believe the answer to that question will provide us with the name of the real criminal. Now then, the prosecution calls the defendant's manager, Adrian Andrews, to the stand. Currently, the witness is accused of tampering and obstruction of justice. However, you have been called to the witness stand today to ascertain who exactly is guilty of murder. I understand. Very good. Now, have you ever seen this bear before, Miss Andrews? Of course I have. You have seen it before? That's right. It's only natural that the witness has. Miss Andrews, could you please enlighten the court to this bear's secrets? All right. Why? Why does she... Why does she what? Know about the bear? Hmm. Actually, this is an elaborate puzzle. If you know the correct order, it can be taken apart one piece at a time. At its center is a small cavity with just enough room to, s to store a small item. Because of its complexity, if you don't know the order, you can't open the bear. You really can't tell that it's a small jewelry box just by looking at it. So this figurine, it's a container of sorts, is it? Yes. Looks can be deceiving, wouldn't you agree? Yes, this is superb craftsmanship. Oh yes, I nearly forgot. You may begin your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. It looks like there really was something to that bear after all. Yep. Okay, this is an elaborate puzzle. Let's press on this. A puzzle? That's right. Hmm. But it looks like an ordinary figurine. True enough. To people who don't know, I'm sure they would never guess that this was a puzzle. So, what kind of puzzle is this exactly? Correct order can be taken apart one piece at a time. So you can take it apart. And how would one go about doing that? Well, you first turn its tail to the right and then push it in. Oh yes, I see. After that, the arms and legs are free to move and can be removed. Ooh, this is most interesting. <laughs> the judge is having fun. <laughs> He's like a little kid, that's so adorable. A boy and his new toy. It's like he's five all over again. Oh my gosh, Judge, please. Oh, don't mind me. Go ahead and carry on. 
think he's lost it. <laughs> so what do you find after you take the puzzle apart? And the center is a small cavity with a firm stern. Okay. And how do you know about this? I know because I was the one who bought it. Huh? It was a souvenir from when a friend and I went to Switzerland. Then this... this was a present from you. That's right. It was a puzzle in the shape of a bear, so I thought it would be perfect for Juan. So it was a present from Miss Andrews. Witness, let's continue with your testimony. Okay, if you don't know the order, you can't open the bear. So who exactly knew how to solve this puzzle? Only the two of us, Juan and myself. It was a souvenir from Switzerland, so I doubt there are that many people with this same bear in this country. But this looks like it can be easily broken, especially if someone wanted to get what was inside. Well, it's a toy, but it can never be the same again once it's been broken. Tell that's a small jewelry box just for the right Who else knows that this bear is actually a small container or jewelry box? I never told anyone. And as long as Juan never told anyone either, then only the two of us knew. The two of you, huh? Then of course that means Mr. Ungard didn't know, right? I think this is about all I'm going to get for now. Okay. Oh dear. Well, Mr. Wright, I think even you have come to realize... Hmm? That there is one very important fact we have uncovered, and that is this. This bear is actually a jewelry box. Hmm... Now that we have agreed to this point, there is only one logical question that can come next, and that is this. What is inside this box? What's inside? That's right. That's what we are going to find out next. Witness? Yes. You are the only one who can open this. Please. Okay, that's the next logical step indeed. There's a painful silence hanging over the courtroom. All eyes are on Miss Andrews now as she solves the puzzle and takes the bear apart. I've opened it. Is this what you wanted? What is that? It looks like a note. Mm. I don't think we need to guess at what this is. Do we, Mr. Wright? It's the suicide note. The suicide note? The suicide note left by Juan Corrida's former manager, Celeste Inpax. Until now, no one knew of its whereabouts, but just as we suspected, it was hidden. Hidden by the victim, Juan Corrida himself. It seems Celeste Inpax had very beautiful handwriting. Coming from him, that is a very big comp uh, compliment. <laughs> and she just as beautifully signed her own name on this document. This is most definitely the note she left right before she committed suicide. Uh, order! Witness, did you know about this? Yes, I did. I heard all about it from Juan. When I discovered his body, I looked for the bear. I wanted to destroy the note before it became public, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Because... Oh, sorry. Judge, come on now. <laughs> Stop s speaking over Edgeworth. <laughs> because it had already been taken by the killer. Everything is going at Mr. Edgeworth's pace. 
So now that the suicide note has been found, what's the next logical question? What is written on the note? That's right. At least, that's what I would think. Now then, I believe it is only appropriate the contents of this note be made known. I can't stop you, can I? Aw, everything she went through for nothing. But it has to come out, Adrian. I went through so much just to get my hands on it. And I was going to burn it. For her sake. I'm deeply sorry, but I can't allow you to persuade me to stop. Your Honor, if you could please read the contents of this note aloud. Very well. The judge's voice rang loud and clear through the dead silent courtroom. In her note, Celeste Impacts left to us a record of all that had happened to her about being used and then thrown away by on guard, about being engaged to Corrida and on guard's role in destroying that, and about how she decided in her despair to end it all. That's so sad. And that's all Miss Enpax had to say. There is one thing I would like to say here. I hate Matt so much. The prosecution has no interest in slandering Mr. On Guard. Then what? Our intention, Your Honor, is to establish a motive for murder. Isn't that correct, witness? Yes. On the night of the murder, Juan was going to make the contents of the note public. After the post-ceremony show, he was going to hold a press conference. My word. Matt on guard values above all else his refreshing like a spring breeze image. Which is why he had to stop this note from being made public. At any cost. That's so stupid and crazy, man. I hate you, Matt. I hate you so much. It's on guard's fault that woman killed herself. And this time, he even went so far as to kill someone to stop him from revealing that. How terrible. What a selfish person. I guess there are slimeball lawyers out there who will defend these creeps, too. Ooh. Gallery, will you shut up? <laughs> there is no margin for doubt here. Mr. De Killer's client's goal was to obtain this suicide note. And the only person who needed this note that badly is the defendant. Let's not forget that the bear with the note inside was found at the defendant's house. It seems that we have come to the truth at last. The defendant's motives were entirely selfish. He deserves no sympathy from anyone. Ugh, how am I supposed to escape from this one? Why the hesitation, Phoenix? Gumshoe hasn't called yet, so you know what you must do. I know. I have to carry on and buy him some more time. Okay. There are two deadly pieces of evidence. The figurine and the suicide note. Maybe somehow I can find a way out of this situation through one of those. Do I have to choose? Because I already know what I'm going to say for both of them. <laughs> I already see problems with both of them. Why would I have to choose? Come on, game. Why you won't be like that? That's not cool, man. The suicide note or the figurine? Which of these should I pursue? Um... Say. Let's say the figurine. Objection. Please wait, Your Honor. Oh man, look at that lawyer. He's still going at it. 
It's like he doesn't care that he's trying to get a killer off the hook. The assassin took this with him from the crime scene after murdering Mr. Corrida. At the request of his client, of course. So, what's your point, Mr. Wright? I don't think it's possible that Mr. De Killer's client was Matt on guard. In fact, I think there is a contradiction here. You can't tell by just looking at it that this bear is actually a jewelry box. The chances that Matt on guard thought the note was inside this bear are zero to none. That's a good point. Oh, I didn't think of it that way. Exactly. But I did think of it that way, and I thought it rather strange. After all, there is no reason why Mr. On Guard would ever want a jewelry box like this. Oh, shut up, gallery. <laughs> order, order, order! You make a valid point, Mr. Wright. Mr. Edgeworth, what is your opinion? I think I know what he's gonna say, though. <laughs> It was just a flash, but I think I did rather well on this one. Unfortunately, I think he believes differently. Uh -oh. I believe a show of appreciation is in order. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. The defense seems to be in love with wishing more despair upon itself. Uh-oh. I would like to direct the court's attention to this. I thought that wasn't our evidence! No! Why are you using it against me? What is that? It is a very small video camera, Your Honor, but then again, he knows about it, so... This type of camera is commonly used as a means of spying. Spying? What the... I thought that spy camera was in my possession! See? Unless he just happened to grab another one and pretend it's the same one. <laughs> I don't know. Matt on guard and the victim both thought of the other as their biggest rival. They even went so far as to use this type of item to find each other's weaknesses. Um... The victim Juan Corrida was being spied on. His personal life was being watched by none other than Matt on guard. Order! Order! Ahem! Mr. Wright! Y yes Your Honor. You! Don't tell me you knew about your client's spying activities. Well, sort of. Sort of is not an acceptable answer, Mr. Wright. What? But, but, we don't have to disclose it. It, no. You be quiet, Judge. <laughs> We're doing our job. I see you are confused, Mr. Wright. You're probably thinking, but I have the camera that was in the stuffed bear's eye. <gasps> but this camera that I have is not the same one. Last night, I searched the victim's house on a hunch. Using this. Oh, she's a bug sweeper. By the way, Mr. Wright, the defendant's fingerprints were found on this camera. But on God's fingerprints were on there. Well, Phoenix, it looks like those cameras were hidden all over the place, huh? What am I supposed to say to that evidence? I think this is the end. It's fairly obvious that Mr. On God learned of the suicide note through this. He was watching the victim all along. He got me good this time. I don't have anything to counter that. Hey, hey, now what's that lawyer thinking? <laughs> Mommy, is that man the bad killer guy? Shush, stop, don't look at him. The way he's sweating is just so, ill, nasty. Phoenix? Yes, Chief. Have you figured out what you're going to do next yet? What I'm going to do next? Does running away like a frightened child work? <laughs> I know it seems like Edgeworth is very close to putting the lid on this case. But, in his eagerness to prove his point, he forgot one very important thing. Well, what is it, Mia? There is a piece of evidence that he really should investigate. 
something he should investigate. I would really hate to see the good prosecutor get scolded for not remembering to look into the item when he had the chance. Why are you speaking in riddles all She's always speaking in riddles, Phoenix. Come on now. <laughs> Alright, I think this time we finally understand everything. Please, God, let this trial end. Well, Mr. Wright, you don't have any further objections, do you? What is this piece of evidence that Mia's talking about? The other one you mentioned! Can I figure out what it is that still needs to be looked at, or should I let it go? Let's present. I have an objection, Your Honor. <laughs> that was about the weakest objection I've ever heard, Mr. Wright. Yeah, we didn't shout it. <laughs> Your Honor, the defense has no intentions of letting this go so easily. There we go. You are beginning to sound desperate. We are desperate. <laughs> Look at Phoenix. That's just your imagination, Your Honor. <laughs> Don't think about it too hard. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, this is not like you at all. Mm -hmm. In your eagerness to prove your point, you've forgotten one very important thing. Hey, isn't that what I just said? <laughs> He's using me as words. <laughs> no shame, Phoenix, no shame. So, you're telling me that I forgot something. You're so close, Mr. Edgeworth. But there's something you really should examine about this piece of evidence. The one we also mentioned. Come on now, the note. That is Miss Inbax's suicide note, right? Hmm, who knows? <gasps> the gasp! I mean, sure, this suicide note was found inside this bear. But this bear was in my possession until a few moments ago. Which means... The handwriting on this suicide note has yet to be analyzed. Oh. So, as to whether this pivotal piece of evidence was really written by Miss Impacts or not, has yet to be even remotely confirmed. That's true. You can't use it. It's kind of like illegal to be using that as evidence without proof. Oh, the judge was speaking. Sorry. Mr. Wright, you... Are you saying this suicide note is a fake? Miss Andrews, you were the one who tried to pin this murder on Mr. On Guard. Who's to say you didn't create a fake suicide note and put it into this bear? H how dare you! Your Honor, the defense is indiscriminately accusing the witness again. There is no evidence linking the witness to the suicide note whatsoever. But if this is a fake, then the witness is the only person who could have made it. What? Recall the witness's testimony concerning this figurine. The only person other than the victim who could solve the puzzle is the witness herself. Ah! Miss Andrews, you wrote this note, didn't you? You wrote it so you could use it to frame Matt on guard. I... I did no such thing. Right, you're going to pronounce this suicide note a fake. Then show this court some evidence to support your theory. No. Mr. Edgeworth, you were the one who presented this scrap of paper as evidence. That means the burden of proof lies with you, the prosecution. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> Got him. That's enough. Mr. Edgeworth, can you confirm the handwriting on this suicide note? It is as the defense has stated. The handwriting has yet to be analyzed. Eh, analyzed. <laughs> if that's the case, it seems that yet again we have reached a point where a verdict is impossible. Impos- That's impossible! This isn't good, Phoenix. The judge is going to carry this trial over one more day. I don't think Maya will physically be able to make it another day. 
I didn't want to have to do this, but I don't have a choice. I request that both the prosecution and defense further investigate. Handwriting analysis, my butt. That's just the lawyer trying to buy more time. Unguard is guilty. Look, any idiot can tell you that. I think we have reached the end of the line. Guilty! 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 Wow. What is that sound? Phoenix, I can't believe you let your phone ring in the middle of work. <laughs> but we know it's important. It's Kumshu. Hello? Kumshu? What is with him? And what's with that sigh? Where's Maya? What happened to the killer? If he's sighing, you know it's not good news, bruh. He, uh... He got away. What? I'm sorry, pal. I really am. I don't know what to say besides I'm sorry. I wish there was some way I could make it up to you. I really do. Uh, anyway, what's going on? We found his hideout, pal. But the two of them were already gone. This is terrible. I'm going to keep looking for them, pal. Don't you worry. I just need a little more time. But... Don't tell me we don't... We don't have any more. Ah, crap. He can hear the people shouting guilty. Do you hear that? They're calling for his head. Mr. Wright, I can't. For us to come this far and... Oh! What is it? Ooh, sorry, weird accent there. <laughs> Let me talk to Mr. Edgeworth. Uh, I can't do that. Mr. Wright, would you please get a hold of yourself? Uh, yes, Your Honor. I am about to end today's proceedings. You may take your phone calls after. Hold on, Your Honor. Edgeworth, catch! Take that! Take that. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth! Edgeworth's like, what the frick? Please, you've got to buy us some more time! Court is in session. <laughs> you just hung up on him. <laughs> I'm sorry, Your Honor. You were saying... Mr. Wright, this is a court of law. Edgeworth, come on, why'd you hang up on Gumshoe like that? <laughs> I'm sorry, Your Honor, but... I am reluctant to do this, however. It appears that I have no choice but to suspend proceedings until tomorrow. I... This time... I really can't do anything. Court is now adjourned for the day. No. Maya. <gasps> Edgie Poo. Please wait, Your Honor. Uh, Edgeworth. What is it, Mr. Edgeworth? I humbly request another thirty minutes of Your Honor's time. For what purpose? We can perform the necessary tests on this piece of evidence in that time. Hmm. But can you really obtain your results in 30 minutes? I believe we can, Your Honor. But wouldn't it be better if we adjourn for today and then reconvene tomorrow? 30 minutes. Please, Your Honor. That's all I am asking for. Please, Your Honor. Very well. He couldn't resist both of them. <laughs> Tag team and the judge. At the prosecution's request, this court will now take a 30 minute recess. But be advised that I will not allow another recess today. I'm not sure if this is helping or hurting us. The court will now take its final recess of the day. Thank you, Edgeworth. Come on, Gumshoe, you gotta find Maya. Right, well, what's going on with Maya's situation? The killer. It looks like he got away again. Thirty minutes. We can't find her in that time. Ugh. 
report. <laughs> he just answered his phone. <laughs> ah, uh, is that Mr. Edgeworth? We don't have time, just spit it out. R right. It looks like we just missed them, sir. But the killer left a few things behind by accident in his rush to get away. A few things? Can we use any of them as evidence? Ho ho ho! I thought you'd ask, pal. Hmm? I've got the things he left with me right now, and I'm on my way over. Really? That's odd. Any items like that are usually sent to the crime lab first. We don't have time to wait for those guys, sir. When those guys weren't looking, I swiped the stuff and ran. What? <laughs> Gum shit. Well, I'm not a detective anymore, so I had to. I'm really sorry, sir, but I've got to put the law on hold for now. Sounds bad. I hope he doesn't get in too much trouble over this. With my hunk of junk car, I'd say I'll be there in about 20 minutes, sir. Don't worry, I'll be there. Wait for me. Uh, all right, just get here in one piece. I'm on a mission and no one can stop me now, sir. No one. I'm pulling out all the stops and running every red light. What? Gumshoe, no. That's illegal and stupid. Don't do that. Items left by the murderer, huh? Maybe there's something among them that will be indecisive enough to end this. Huh? <gasps> Gumshoe, gosh dang it, you idiot. You better be okay. Hey, what's wrong? Detective Gumshoe, answer me. No one can stop. I'm... Oh my lord. What happened? It sounded like he had an accident. I'm guessing his cell phone broke as well. What was he thinking? We've got to hurry and call for help. But we have no idea where he is. His cell phone is broken, and he wasn't driving a patrol car, so no radio either. Also, if we don't get to those items before they do, the police will take possession of them. No! We can't let that happen. Well, if there is a way we can find out where he is, then we stand a chance. Oh, why did Gumshoe have to get into an accident now? Is there any way to find out exactly where he is at this moment? Luckily, they mentioned it earlier. There is a way. That's right. There is a way. What? How? I'm sure we can find out where Detective Gumshoe is through this. Let's see. Is there evidence of it? What's this transmitter? No. I thought we had it as evidence, but um, I think if not evidence, then we can just use her. It's kind of weird the way they phrased it. Um, <laughs> this is a person. <laughs> Why are you bringing up Francisca at a time like... Oh, I see. I'll try to get in contact with her. The chances are slim, but she's all we have. Look, Francisca might help us. <laughs> Francisca. Does she even want to help us? Edgeworth, what is it? I don't have any right to judge anyone ever again. I know my client is guilty. But what I'm doing now, I'm pinning the guilt onto someone totally innocent and using the evidence to do so. It might be my turn to say, defense attorney Phoenix Wright chooses death. Really, Phoenix? <laughs> oh my god. Right, stop being a drama queen. It doesn't suit someone like you to cry useless tears. Whether you did your job well or not, that can only be seen after the verdict has been decided. The verdict. Is Prosecutor Edgeworth here? Yes, Bailey. There's a phone call for you, sir. They said it was extremely urgent. They're probably finished with the handwriting analysis. I have to go take this call. In the meantime, think hard about what it is you must do. And don't forget to call Francisco. We don't have much time, bro. <laughs> oh man, to be continued. This was a long episode, but we needed to get through all of that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And until next time, have a nice day. Bye.